What's up, my stat stars? Let's take a look at the college acceptance rates at two different colleges. To protect the innocent, we'll call them College A and College B. Now, what we're looking at here is the accepted rates based on ethnicity. And what we see here is broken down by ethnicity, College B has a higher acceptance rate for every single ethnicity when you compare it to College A. Whether it's white, Asian, African American, Hispanic, or Indian Pacific Islander, College B seems to be better, much higher acceptance rate. But hold on a second, when we now combine all of the data together, combine all the ethnicities for College A, combine all the ethnicities for College B, we see that the overall acceptance rate, regardless of ethnicity at College A, is higher than College B? I'm in a glass case of emotion. How the heck is this possible? Welcome to Simpsons Paradox. Students, this video is going to teach you about Simpsons Paradox and exactly what's causing it, but teachers, this is a fantastic lesson for day one of AP Statistics. Even though Simpsons Paradox is not in the AP curriculum for statistics, it is a great intro lesson that really gets students thinking about how data could be not necessarily manipulated, but looked at differently when you look at it through different lenses. I use it every single year for my first day activity. It really gets the students thinking and engaged, and it kind of gets them interested in statistics, so I highly recommend you do it as well. And if you're interested for a worksheet that goes with this video, please check out my free Ultimate Review Packet mini course by visiting the link in the description. And students, you can visit the Ultimate Review Packet as well and get tons of free study guides and resources to make sure you are ready for the AP exam in May. Now here's the deal, despite College B having a higher acceptance rate for every single ethnicity, that disappears and reverses when we look at the overall acceptance rates and now it's second to College A. This is Simpson's Paradox. Simpson's Paradox is a statistical phenomena where we see a trend or an association between two variables when we look at subgroups, but all of a sudden when we look at the overall population of data, it seems to reverse what's happening. Simpson's Paradox was first founded by this guy. No wait, not that Simpson, this guy, Edward Simpson. He was the first one to write and explain it in a formal paper. And here he looks pretty good, here he looks a little bit older, and here the age didn't do him too well. But he was a pretty cool statistician that first talked and introduced us to this idea. To see exactly what's going on here, we have to not just look at the proportions of ethnicities, we have to actually look at the counts, how many students were accepted and not accepted in each ethnicity, because that's where the phenomena is occurring. So let's take a look at a chart right now that doesn't just show the proportions, it actually shows the counts as well. In this case, the paradox arises because College A's largest ethnicity group was African American applicants, about 250 out of the total 678 applicants for College A. And for African Americans, the admission rate is very high at 80%. Since the largest group at College A has the highest admission rate for College A, it skews College A's overall rate higher. College A's lowest ethnicity group is white students who also have the lowest acceptance rate. In other words, the 80% for the African Americans is worth more or heavier than the 35% acceptance rate for white applicants. That's causing the overall average for College A to be higher. College B, on the other hand, has a larger number of white applicants, 280 out of the total 685 applicants. Well, they also have the lower admission rate at 40%. For College B, its highest acceptance rates are for Asian and African American students, but overall they have less of those students. In fact, combining the Asian and African American students together doesn't even equal the amount of white applicants at College B. In other words, the 40% from the white applicants is worth more or heavier than the 82.9% acceptance rate for the African American students. When you combine, the different ethnicity ratios influence the overall acceptance rate, leading to the reversal of the trend and pattern that we see. The moral of the story here is that not all proportions are created equal. If the sizes of each subgroup are all equal, then yes, the proportions can be treated equally. But if the sizes of the subgroups differ, then the proportions are going to be either heavier or lighter, all depending the ratio of which that subgroup 
is made up of the larger population. So hopefully that simple explanation explains to you what Simpson's paradox is all about. Again, you got to dive into the numbers and see which subgroup is well worth more and how that impacts its overall proportion. Now, Simpson's paradox can actually also be seen in scatter plots with quantitative data. So here we see a scatter plot and overall we do see a positive trend as we move from left to right. We see that as X goes up, there is a tendency for the Y values to also go up. But if we look at the subgroups, the one on the bottom left and the one on the top right, we actually see two negative trends. So in each of those subgroups, the lower values, we see a negative trend, X goes up, Y goes down. But in the upper values, we also see a negative trend as X goes up, Y goes down. But when we put all those values together on one scatter plot, it looks like there's a positive trend. Again, another example of Simpson's paradox where we see a trend among subgroups disappear or reverse when we look at all of the data put together. So that's it for Simpson's paradox. It's a pretty easy paradox to understand and a really cool one as well. In teachers, again, I can't emphasize, it makes a great day one activity and I've been using it for 15 years and students really enjoy it. Don't forget to visit the ultimate review packet for teachers to get a free mini course and students to get a ton of free resources for AP statistics. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video.